Alright, what is up guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this a simple logo. I'm going to teach you how to make something simple you know, using the tools that I've taught you to use in the previous videos. Using gradient fill and shape tool and all those other things. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I would create a new document if I landscape, landscape selected and OK. Alright, so first off, we're going to make, we have the name which is um, Venus, Venus whatever country you're from and first off we want to make um draw a rectangle so we have a rectangle a long one and we want to rotate it 35 degrees so I come here to this to the property bar, I'm just putting 35. That's good. Next, so we can duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. So I have a duplicate. And next up is I want to mirror it. So to do that, I come to property bar here. You can see here to mirror horizontally, so it flips the shape. And from from left to right or right to left. So I want to select it to mirror. So I want to select it to be mirrored horizontally. So I click on this. And next up, I'm going to form a V. So I move this. And make sure it's nicely aligned at the center. Just adjust this some more to have a good match. Yeah, so that's good. Alright, so next up, next up, um, we want to trim out with this excess here and this excess here. So, what I want to do is to convert, select all the shapes and convert it to curves. So, I right click, right click, and convert to curves or control Q on your keyboard so having done that I can now trim out the edges of the object so to do that I need to use the shape tool so while the object is selected I click on the shape tool so with that selected it gives me nodes and the four edges of the rectangle that I can edit so what I want to do is to double click at this point where these two lines you can see these two lines um, intersect so I double click on this point at the center then I double click um, just to explain one thing when you double click on the line it creates another point and this point I want you use to manipulate shapes if you um, watch the previous tutorial I did um, I explain the shape too. Um, you see that there. I'm going to link um, in the description. Um, a link. I'm going to put in the description link to the previous video. All right. So I create another node here, and I'm going to delete this one. So I can select the node by clicking on it and then pressing delete on the keyboard to have it deleted. So I'm going to do the same thing to this second rectangle here, and I'm going to double click at the point where they intersect and um, so double click then I select this other node here and I press delete on the keyboard so it will have a V shaped logo so next up um so next up I'm going to create our circle all right so to draw a perfect circle what you need to do after selecting your 
ellipse tool which is f7 on the shortcut is f7 on your keyboard i hold ctrl and shift down and then i click and drag so clicking and drag gives me a perfect circle but if i release you can see that our circle is different but if i hold the click and shift you can see we have a perfect circle so just drag it to shape I like there you have it so next up I want to put this at the center so I just drag it a bit more and I want to increase the size a bit holding shift down just scaling from the top right corner okay I think I like it like this then we're gonna fill our circle this blue color here whoa now you notice that we can't see our shape anymore that's because our circle is above the shape we created earlier so what we're gonna do is to send the circle back and to do that I would control and page down on the keyboard so i have control and page down you can see that the first second the first rectangle shows then i press page down again and then we have our second shape All right so that done we're gonna fill these are rectangles here white so i have them put selected just by highlighting them just click outside the page and just drag around it have them selected then what we'll do is to make these two shapes one and how we do that is by welding them so once we have both shapes selected as we've done you can see over here on the property bar that the options different option appears so what we want to do is to select the first one which is to weld and what welding does is that it combines the object both objects we've selected to one object so I click on the world you can see we have a nice V shape and I'll just fill it white Good. now so one other thing you notice is that um, if you look down at the bottom here you can see that let me select one of the shape circle you can see it has a few color blue and then outline the shape here depicts the outline and an outline color of black so what we want to do is to take out we don't we don't need this outline so just take it out so to do that I right click on no outline no few colors so I right click on it you can see here our outline is gone zoom in a little the outline is gone so we'll do the same thing to our new shape here I see it has a black outline and just take the outline out by right clicking on this so that's good now um you could leave um, the shape like this and say oh we have a nice logo but we can just take it a step further and we'll add a kind of a gradient feel to our circle here so it's not just plain blue so we can add a gradient from this blue to a kind of lighter shade of blue so to do that we go to the interactive field tool which is here now just drag from top to bottom oh, so that's nice so the next thing I want to do is to change this color here to a lighter shade of blue so I click on this and then I can move this here to the different colors primary colors then what I want to do is to go to a lighter shade of blue you can see we have all the different kind of blue so let's go to a lighter shade I think I like this that's good Oof. right so that done next thing we want to do is to add a shadow 
on this our view and so we could move this up some a little move this shift and drag it up and let's add the shadow so over here we have the drop shadow tool and within it if you click on this um, arrow down here you can see the other tools that are within here so just select the drop shadow tool and then what we want to do is to click and drag down a little let's drag down boom here we have a shadow now if you look at the property bar you can adjust um, the shadow so this here shows how um, transparent or so how, how dark or how heavy our shadow so if I take it all the way up I see it the shadow is very dark and if I take this down the shadow becomes soft and this here um, feathers the shadow so if I take this up you can see the shadow is a bit feathered what that does is that it, um, it softens the shadow while spreading it across a wider, a wider area so I want to reduce this down some and I think that's good. Um, so we have the logo. Um, one other thing we could do is we could change um, the fill pattern on this our circle here. So I'll just duplicate our entire logo. Sorry, just select everything and duplicate it. Let's move this down. Let's change. Um, let's change the fill. That we have on our logo. Let's change the field to um, a spherical one. So, if you remember earlier, we had um, the normal interactive field, which is the fountain field, which is the first one, a linear fountain, which is here. So, it applies a gradient along a linear path, which is from top down, just a straight line. So we want to select the second one, which is the elliptical fountain fill. So if we have that selected. You can see that the you can't really see any difference, and that's because the difference between our two colors isn't much. So we'll make this blue here. Let's make it a bit darker. So we we'll make it dark. You can see that. Um, feel looks much nicer then I can move this spread this out a little let me take it towards the edge mm -hmm. just adjust it some okay this looks nice so Stick it up, so. Good. All right. So you can see this looks much better than what we have here. Then we could bring in a font, the name of the company, which is Venus. I'm just going to move this aside. If you like what we see here, and. I'm gonna use a nicer font. Let's take the use this uh Ducas. Just make it blue. We should change the way that blue looks. Change the color mode to RGB. Good. So I like I like how this looks. So just say okay. Then we add collection. Collections. Um, can use this is product sense. Make it all capital. Capital letters. So, so did I 
collections capital right so I can make this simply um, and just click on the shape tool to spread it wide that's nice good and so here we have the first sample of the logo all right thank you for watching i'm gonna be doing um i'm gonna make in right so i think this looks nice we can present this to our client for approval all right so um interesting the next video i'm going to be showing you how i made this so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and we want to see the next video which will be, i'll be dropping soon maybe tomorrow um subscribe to the channel or just join in and i'll catch you guys later bye